Let's now discuss concavity. What is concavity? The answer is, concavity determines the shape of your function. So if your function looks like a hill, then it's concave down. But if your function looks like a valley, we call this concave up. Now, what determines concavity? The answer is the second derivative. The fact is that if the second derivative, f double prime, is negative, then our function is concave down. And if our second derivative is positive, then our function f is concave up. There is a point in between where f is neither concave down nor concave up. This is called the point of inflection. And it is where the concavity changes. So here we have an inflection point because our function f is changing from concave down to concave up. Or in other words, the second derivative is changing from negative to positive. Now what is the second derivative at the point of inflection? Well, at the point of inflection, f double prime either equals zero or is undefined. So this is very similar to what we did in the first derivative, where we first looked for critical points where the first derivative either equaled zero or was not defined. And then we investigated where our first derivative was either negative or positive. Well, we'll do the exact same thing with concavity. We are gonna find the second derivative, set that equal to zero, or find out where it does not exist, and that will give us possible points of inflection. But to determine whether they actually are points of inflection, we have to figure out whether the concavity actually changes at those points. So, if the second derivative changes from negative to positive, our function is concave down to concave up. But, if our function changes from second derivative being positive to negative, then here we have our function being concave up to concave down. And the point of inflection would lie in between where this concavity changes. And that is the idea behind concavity.